Yo guys, here's my pick for the top 7 Android apps of March 2017. So you might see that line on top of my phone and think that my display is dying. That is not the case. In fact, that is from an app called Energy. So Energy displays your battery level as a line on top of your status bar. Now you can customize the thickness of this line, whether or not it appears in the status bar, along with the charging animations. What I like about this app is that it's very subtle and it kind of makes looking at my battery level really cool and stylistic where normally I get upset because I see how quickly my battery life is draining. Let's give cutting corners a whole new meaning. This app is called Cornerfy and it will actually cut your corners. What this app does is that it rounds the edges on your phone. So your phone will look a little bit, I guess, better. I can't really say if rounded corners look better than a normal square edged corner. And I will admit on a Galaxy S7 Edge, it's really hard to tell because I can't see my corners anyway. But still, it's a really cool app and this does not require root, which I'm really surprised about. If you frequently use Bluetooth headsets, then Bat On is the app that you need. This app will tell you the battery life of all your Bluetooth connected devices. This is really helpful because I have Bluetooth headsets that I never know what battery level they're at, and it's always an unfortunate surprise when they die on me. This app requires no configuration, you basically install it and get going and it can read the battery level of any device using the Bluetooth Low Energy Profile. If you're running Android Nougat, then you should definitely check out this app called Tiles. Tiles allows you to add new quick tiles to your quick settings. Now, this is really useful because sometimes the default quick tiles aren't enough, and this one will allow you to expand the action of each quick tile. So far, my favorite quick tile has been the Calendar quick tile. It was not provided by Samsung by default, so this app had it, and I customized it to open up my calendar whenever I click it. Now if you're a heavy multitasker, then you should check out the app called Flyperlink. Flyperlink basically allows you to open up any link in its own pop-up window or floating bubble, whatever you want to call it. Now this is really cool because I can go in and out of different apps and have the window set up there when I need it. The only thing that's kind of annoying is that I wish it can open it up in multiple bubbles. Instead, it just opens up in the same bubble within a new tab. You can add bookmarks to your favorite site within the app, and those sites will automatically open up in its own floating window. It's a really cool way to take multitasking to a new level. So that widget that you see on my home screen is from an app called Recurrence. Now Recurrence is like basically every other to-do list keeper, and honestly, I can never find a to-do list app that I like, but this one does seem pretty cool. You can customize the icons for each to-do list item, you can customize the content that goes with it, and what I like is that it also has a nagging notification. So it can prompt you every 5 minutes, every 10 minutes, which is really good for someone who's very stubborn to do things like I am. Now, the only annoying thing is that you do have to pay for the widget, which I thought was a little bit cheap, but you know, it's still a cool app and definitely worth a try. So if you haven't noticed, I keep a lot of notifications in my notification tray at basically all times. And occasionally someone nags me to remove those notifications, and I do, but sometimes I end up removing a notification that I haven't read yet. Luckily, there's an app called Recent Notifications. And what this app does, it basically keeps track of all of your notifications. Now this is great for someone like me who I sometimes accidentally delete notifications that I haven't read yet. And of course from this app you can sweep away notifications when you're actually done reading them. So guys, this has been my pick for the top 7 Android apps of March 2017. If you have an app that you like that I didn't mention, definitely leave in comments down below. Tell me about what you think about these apps. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. You can find a link for all these apps over my website so definitely check it out. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks. So